Hey, welcome back to Mike's Italian Grand Adventure. I'm here uh, at Pompeii with my good friend Rob, and uh, we're hanging out uh, in Naples for the weekend. Uh, he was able to meet me while I was on my tour. He flew down from Holland, and and uh, we're hanging out for a couple of days and had not been to Pompeii. So we both uh, came here today to check it out, and we're both just absolutely blown away. It's, it's enormous, first of all. I had no idea how the scale of the place. But uh, the quality of the ruins is incredible, too. So uh, this was covered in 79 AD um, by an eruption from, let's see if you can see it. This uh, mountain right back here is Mount Vesuvius. So Mount Vesuvius erupted, covered the entire city with, I don't know, 20 feet of ash, killed everyone, and just preserved everything. So they started excavating this. I think someone had discovered it in the mid 1500s and then it's been excavated over time and currently about two thirds of it is excavated. So there's still a bunch of it buried, but it's just incredible. There's a bunch of frescoes and murals and incredible buildings. So we're having a great time. But uh, I also wanted you guys to take a look at another place in Penne that I got a tour of. So this is the one I mentioned in a previous video where the realtors had asked me what was my maximum budget and then promptly said, oh, I have a place for 20% more than that I'd like to show you, which made me laugh because realtors always do that. Um, so anyway, we went and looked at this place. I'll hold off on my commentary until afterwards. Uh, so then uh, you get a chance to see it without any preconceived ideas. But uh, take a look at this place. Uh, let me know what you think and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here we are at another property they, uh, they took me to, a local realtor along with uh, Fabrizio, who doesn't live in this town but lives in this region. So uh, it's, it's above uh, actually a butcher shop on the main street. And then there's a huge garage. Uh, my friends who work on cars would really love that. But um, then we uh, walk up here. So it's on the second level, exterior staircase entrance. Kind of an entranceway here, and then you come into the kitchen. So this is a pretty, uh, pretty old school place. Definitely would need some work. And this is, this is about 100,000 um, euros for this place. So uh, a lot of work, but just a small kitchen. And then like a, a living room or bedroom with a nice little balcony out here to the street. Looks like it's kind of a major street, but obviously beautiful views. And then uh, a park right across the way, which is quite nice. Um, we come back into here, another bedroom, which is huge. Doesn't have any other entrance, just that door there, but has windows on uh, two sides. It's a corner, no balcony, but nice. Doors are kind of narrow. I can't uh, can't quite fit through there with my shoulders. I can see. I have to like squeeze my shoulders in to get through these doorways. So uh, the uh, the other door opens too. But all right. So and into this room here. There's another another bedroom. And then another bedroom. And then here's the real funky part about this. To get to the bathroom, you gotta go outside. So you go outside under the patio, turn into this exterior room and just, uh, and just uh, the one bathroom. So obviously, you know, that doesn't work. That's a deal breaker. Um, but uh, you know, beautiful, big, huge patio, um, incredible views of the mountains around. Of course, you're looking at this house, which is kind of a bummer, or this house, which is kind of a bummer. But um, no, they just wanted to show me uh, something else that's out there so I can get an idea. 
Uh, I already told them that this is too big for me and then also it's going to be a big project. So let's just take a look at the garage real quick though because it's pretty incredible. Uh, I don't know why they built this garage this big but it's uh, pretty fascinating. So I mentioned just below is a butcher shop <laughs> so I could get some good meat and uh, some good food there I'm sure. Uh, hopefully it doesn't smell but um, here, take a look at this garage. So, so you come in through the gate from the road and there's this big huge patio here and man if I had a car collection look at the size of this garage holy shit <laughs> yeah this thing's huge so we've got this old classic car in here um, look at the size of this place and it's got really tall ceilings my friends Eric and Steve that work on cars, you could put a lift in here. They'd love it. <laughs> and then there's this room in here too. This is like just another storage room. It's pretty dark. I don't think there's any lights on now, but it's a pretty good size. It's probably, I'd say, at least 10 feet by 10 feet. So um, pretty good size. Uh, yeah, anyway, not interested, but just an idea of some of the things that are available here. You know, there's a, there's a, lot, of, a lot of options. Um, really just kind of got to narrow it down a little bit more uh, unfortunately one of the properties i really wanted to see today they can't find the keys for it that's somehow realtors lost keys uh, but um, they're hoping they can either find them later today or tomorrow morning and i can uh, take a look at it before i leave but uh, we'll see you know in the meantime uh, i've been able to look at three or four properties today and nothing jumped out at me as a possibility but um you know there's that one with the rooftop patio nah actually no i mean it had parking for the motorcycle underneath and a rooftop patio so for pretty cheap i could get that thing but yeah it just it just didn't feel right i didn't feel the energy uh it's not something that i was like yeah i could see myself hanging out here it was more like well i could hang out here if i had to so that's not a good thing i don't want to do that so anyway there you go. There's another property in Italy. Abruzzo, Italy. Pena. Okay, welcome back to Mike's Italian Grand Adventure. Uh, so what did you think? Um, yeah, that property, uh, certainly not for me. I mean, huge garage. You could even have a workshop in there. Uh, some of my buddies that work on cars would love it. There'd be enough room to put a lift and you could put four or five cars in there. But uh, obviously I don't need anything of that size. Also, it was on a pretty busy street. Uh, it's above a butcher shop, which I don't know. It smelled okay, but maybe there's flies and who knows what uh, from being around that. But um, yeah, and then the place itself was really weird. That outdoor bathroom. Have you ever seen anything like that? <laughs> How crazy is that? So uh, all the separate rooms, little tiny rooms. Uh, yeah, definitely not anything I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. But, uh, but again, it's, it was a great experience. Um, Fabrizio, my uh, realtor, was incredible. So that was really nice to look at that uh, and have him take me around. And, uh, you know, it was a good experience. I don't regret anything, of course, uh, in regards to different experiences like that. So, uh, so that was good to see. Uh, and I had one correction I wanted to talk about. Uh, in an earlier episode, I went and visited a couple of uh, Roman ruins. And I said one of them was uh, a Colosseum and the other was an amphitheater. Well, someone posted a comment and corrected me. So the Colosseum actually is called an amphitheater. Uh, an oval type building like that uh, was called an amphitheater. And of course, when I looked back at the name of it, it was called an amphitheater actually. And then the other one is just a simple theater or teatro. So uh, in English, I always think of an amphitheater is built into a hillside. The Romans apparently did not think that way. So one correction and thank you for the comment. And um, if you guys have any comments about this property, please share them with us. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, by the way, um, I've surpassed the 500 subscriber limit. So that's super exciting. Thank you for everyone who's subscribed to my channel. And um, yeah, more videos to come. Uh, lots more experiences. And uh, I'm gonna be heading north from here. So I'll be heading to Rome in a couple of days. Uh, I've got a friend there I'm going to meet up with too, and uh, he's a specialist in craft beer in Italy. So we're going to uh, visit a few uh, breweries and, and bars there and drink some craft beer. And then I'm heading up north, and I'm really thinking I'm going to start concentrating my search for property in northern Italy. 
Southern Italy is just too hot in the summer for me. In fact, today it rained a little bit ago and now the sun's out and it's hot, it's hot. But um, also just further north you are, the more closer you are to Central Europe. So that's really appealing to me as well. So uh, stay tuned, more videos to come.